My next guest is the founder of the Bulletproof Coffee franchise and diet craze and arguably the most well-known biohacker. Welcome to the show, Dave Asprey. Dave, you have a new book. It's called Fast This Way. It has secrets to break the rules of fasting without breaking the fast. And, you know, you adopted fasting on this type of lifestyle uh, a little while back. Why did you decide to adopt this lifestyle? I used to weigh 300 pounds, and my life's work has been about how to eat so I feel good all the time and look good kind of as a side effect. Mm -hmm. I've kept 100 pounds off for a long time that I lost, and people have lost about a million pounds using my nutritional recommendations that have included fasting, and it's becoming better known. I like it because it takes the guesswork out of diets, and it's changed so many people's lives. No matter what they eat, you just learn when to eat, and magic happens. Sure. All you got to do is wait 16 hours or more between your last meal and your first meal of the day, and you did it. And you also talk about that people can break the rules of fasting without breaking their fast. What do you mean by that? People think they're supposed to suffer and be hungry and shaky and cold, and none of that's necessary. And one of the ways to break the rule is what I call these fasting hacks. And the first one is to have some caffeine during, during your fast. You can have some fat, like butter, in it. And that turns off your hunger in a really interesting way. But the new information that's in Fast This Way is about adding prebiotic fiber to your coffee. This is fiber that your body can't digest, but your gut bacteria can. You can buy it as a powder, and it basically pushes out the bad bacteria, feeds the good bacteria, so you get less cravings. You said that women particularly, that they should really tweak their fasting regime for the best health outcomes. What do you mean by that? After 10 years of recommending fasting, and having millions of people do the Bulletproof programs, I noticed that women who go really all in on fasting, within six weeks, they usually either get thyroid problems or irregular hormones. So they feel great at first, and it's because they're overdoing it. That kindness to yourself is so important. So for women, there's a chapter in the book, and I talk about you can start with a fast every other day, or maybe take the weekends off so you're not doing it all the time. And just that rest period of kind of cycling in and out really allows you to do it for a long time, never feel hungry, and have the body and, more importantly, the brain that you want. And by the way, studies do show uh, that people do, who do some intermittent fasting have more energy, they're more alert, so there's definitely some data behind it. Now, you say that there's an optimal way to break the fast. How do you like to do it? I like to break the fast with protein and healthy non-inflammatory fats. If you break it with sugar and carbs, even something like oatmeal, you're much more likely to get a craving two hours later. When you break your fast properly, you're not going to want to eat for another four hours. It's one thing if you say, I can resist the cookie. It's another thing if you say, I broke my fast, but I just don't want a cookie that's mm. in front of me. So I want to reduce the cravings most of all. And this whole book is about you don't have to be afraid of fasting. You don't have to feel fear or pain to fast. You can actually do it so that it's nice to your body, it feels good, and you get the benefits. And you actually discovered that leftovers can actually make you hungrier? It turns out when you let leftovers sit in the fridge, especially for a couple days, and things that contain protein like fish or pork or tofu, when they break down even just a little bit, they release histamine, which is a neurotransmitter, and it's also responsible for allergies. So if you eat those leftovers and then you get real hungry an hour or two later or you get tired, it's probably histamine. And the hack for that is freeze your leftovers, and they're still going to taste really good when you defrost them, but then you prevent all of that breakdown that happens. So, you know, four or five-day-old leftovers, don't do that when you're fasting because you're going to get cravings. Wow. Hey, Dave, you're not a doctor, but listen, you've lived this and you've experienced it and you've got a lot of data from a lot of people. And so we welcome people who give us, you know, their observational uh, evidence of what happens. And uh, I appreciate it. And millions of people are following your plan and doing well. You know, I appreciate your work so much. You're helping people see what's possible. You're pushing boundaries and you're sharing it in a beautiful way. I want people to feel like fasting isn't something that's weird, isn't something that's hard. It's just something that they do, and it makes them feel so good that they have enough energy to be nice to other people. And that's what it did for me. I love that. That's a great way to end it. Thanks a lot, Dave. Take care of yourself.